Just moments ago in Miami, a former U.S. ambassador appeared in court after the Justice Department charged him with clandestine activity for allegedly working as a covert agent for Cuba for decades. Since 1981, 73-year-old Victor Manuel Roca was an American diplomat for 25 years, including a stint at the State Department's U.S. interest section in Havana. NBC's Guad Venegas is outside court, keeping a close eye on this. Guad, what more do we know? This really does sound like something that came out of a spy thriller. Chris, that's exactly what it felt like inside the courtroom. We were in that courtroom as the judge appeared and Reg appeared and read the charges against Victor Manuel Rocha, accusing him of acting as a spy of a foreign government. Of course, we know uh, with that complaint filed by the government that uh, this relates to Cuba. Uh, Victor Manuel Rocha was born in Colombia, became a U.S. citizen, worked as a diplomat all across Latin America, an extensive career with a resume that included countries like Mexico, Argentina, the Dominican Republic, at one point the ambassador of Bolivia. And, of course, now uh, this complaint indicates that the FBI was involved uh, as they found uh, this information that they say uh, makes him an agent of the Cuban government, uh, gathering intelligence that would have been used, according to the complaint, against the U.S. government. Here's uh, the U.S. Attorney uh, General Garland speaking about this just minutes ago. This action exposes one of the highest reaching and longest lasting infiltrations of the U.S. government by a foreign agent. Rocha repeatedly referred to the United States as, quote, the enemy. During the undercover, he told the undercover that his efforts to infiltrate the United States government were, quote, meticulous and, quote, very disciplined. And he repeatedly bragged about the significance of his efforts saying that, quote, what has been done has strengthened the revolution immensely. U.S. Attorney Merrick Garland speaking about this complaint against Rocha. Now, when we were in the courtroom, we saw Rocha waiting for minutes before the hearing began. At one point, uh, wiping his eyes, blowing his nose, we saw his attorney arrive, uh, tap him on the back. He looked like he was very emotional. And at some point, the judge also spoke to the prosecutors about a video. The judge said that he was able to see a video, uh, and he asked them to share that video, which we assume is evidence, with uh, Rocha and his attorney as they move forward. Uh, the prosecutors are asking him, are asking the judge to keep him uh, detained. Uh, the next hearing is set for next week, uh, for which they will be arguing for him to have the ability to continue uh, with this process uh, after posting bonds. So that would be the next hearing. But as of now, we're learning more and more details about this. And like you mentioned, Chris, it's like a spy movie. Of course, what we know now is that they're accusing him of working for Cuba for decades. Uh, now, the prosecutors also said that they plan on filing more charges tomorrow, so we might have even more details of what could have been done or what they're accusing him of doing during these decades as they say he worked for the Cuban government, Chris.